Welcome to Empower Your Paddling 2.0, Empower Your Paddling with James Hendrick. Adversity Educator, Success, Confidence, and Thrive Coach, member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We will he'll teach you that there are patterns of success that are ready for anyone to achieve. So if you come, we will join together. Let's fly. Welcome, welcome, Pattern Realm. This is Jimmy here. Today's episode is called How Bad Do You Want It? And we're going to be featuring a mentor of mine on YouTube uh, because I think it's important that we listen to some of his wisdom and then I'm going to give you some of my own. If I can get technology to cooperate with me uh, this morning, hasn't for some reason that didn't work. Let's try this. Oh, I bet I know why. Thing reset, it reset the Wi Fi. Let me. Okay, now I can get this going. My apologies. The technology sometimes does not want to cooperate the way it should. Here we go. Now I'm ready for you guys to hear this guy. You've got to listen to this man. And then I'll provide some of my own insights here. I'm Presley Swaggerty, um, former high school basketball coach, uh, coached for 16 years. I loved coaching. I did it with a passion, um, but you just don't make any money. So I was looking for something to change the financial picture in our We've life. We've got to make a true commitment, and if we make a commitment, your whole life will be different. You'll get up in the mornings with a purpose about life. All those small tasks won't seem small because you'll know they're getting you where you're wanting to go in your it's life. It's emotional. Uh, when I come back here, uh, me, my mom, grandmother and an elderly aunt lived in that house but all those little daily disciplines those few minutes that we invest in ourselves all those few minutes add up to our life's accomplishments you know the thing i, I like to point out to people is it doesn't matter where we begin it's where we end uh, none of us can go back and make a new beginning but we can all uh, change and, and have a better ending and, and that was always my goal i just always had a burning desire to do better and do more and uh, that's doable for anybody hanging with winners every relationship in our life is either pulling us up are dragging us down Life is kind of surreal i pinch myself all the time to drive the cars that we get to drive and to, to live in this house uh, I, I never could have dreamed to have had a house like this you know what i want to talk about today for just a minute is the day that changed my life and then i want to ask you why we can't make today the day that changes your life and I had no idea when I was growing up here in this, this little house uh, what life had uh, in store, but I just knew I wanted more, so I was willing to do what it, what it took. You attract success by the person you become. It's really about heart. 
It's just how bad do you want it? Uh, if you want it bad enough, you'll figure out how to do it. Before you go to bed tonight, you write down what you want out of life. It's just, it's just exciting to know that we live uh, in a country that uh, you can come from this and, uh, and actually make something out of yourself. You don't have to stay wherever you happen to be. Uh, you, you can actually uh, change and, and make something for yourself and your family. And there you go. Some, some good wisdom. Some, some strong wisdom. Let me ask you guys something. How bad do you want it? How much do you want to just stretch yourself toward the significance and the success that you desire? Last weekend, I found out that a brother podcast a broadcaster of mine is um, suspending, expanding his uh, his nonprofit, and at first it crushed me, but then the good news is Heavenly Father showed me that He is calling me to a different purpose, and that's okay. That's okay. Because now I'm at the point where I can research my purpose. And once I have it honed in, then it's time to zero in on it and go after it. Because here's the thing. If you know you want what you want and you want more, and you you don't go after it. It's like I told myself yesterday when I was doing some research like dude you're over analyzing things an over analysis paralysis can take away the oomph of how bad do you want it but hold on Jimmy did shouldn't you research all angles isn't that something you've always said yes You should, but here's the thing. There comes a time when you have to act. You have to act and make a commitment to your success. Okay? You make an informed choice, yes. But that doesn't mean you need to stay in the decision column for too long. You know? At some point, once you have the information that you feel like you need, the variables you need defining... You know, you need to get rid of the what-ifs that can keep turning in your mind. You need to get rid of the what-ifs that keep turning in your mind and and go after and pursue it. That's that's non-negotiable. I see what's going on in my life. For years, I have let my purpose been determined by others and for some reason I wonder why in many ways I have felt so miserable but then when my friend decided to suspend expanding his uh, nonprofit, then I was crushed, and I was like, well, Heavenly Father, what are we going to do now? And he said, Jimmy, I've always had a a higher purpose for you. He said, your friend, let's face it, he's not a people person. And what you want to do, you yourself, Jimmy, I know you, is you love being out, out among the people. You want to be out among the people. So, there you go. And, of course, I came up with a bunch of things to whine about. And Henry thought, it's like, look, if you'll just find out 
in your heart of hearts, which you know your purpose is in me. I'll give you everything you need. I said, well, hey, my father, I, I need a running buddy. He said, you'll get that. You'll get that. And sometimes I wonder whether that running buddy is the Lord himself. And, and it goes along with something that Presley Swaggerty said in, in that video. You have to choose to hang out with winners. Because there's two types of friends that you got. The ones that build you up and the ones that tear you down. The ones that tear you down, don't, don't keep them around for too long. Yeah, but Jimmy, I love hanging out with Joe Schmo. I love hanging out with, Ju with Suzuki. Let me ask you this, though. Do they believe in you and your success? I'm not saying don't hang out with them, period. I'm just saying hang out with more winners. Okay, and maybe you're like me. You don't get to get out that much. And and this is something I think I think that Heavenly Father's been trying to tell me is just enshroud myself in books. Enshroud myself in, in books. Let the winners that write those things help me. And I believe they will. Right now I'm in the middle of, of writing my book. Um, Empower Your Pattern. And I can't wait till that server is out because I'm going to shout it to the rooftops. I'm going to promote that thing like there is no tomorrow. Okay? I need to do better by promoting the book that I already have published. You think about it, guys. If we have so much inside of us and, and we realize how bad we want it, why can't we joining with the Lord help find a way. It all goes down to this one question. Six words. How bad do you want it? You know, it reminds me of that old Tim McGraw song. You know, um, how bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? Are you eating, sleeping, dreaming with that one thing on your mind. How bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? Because if you want it all, you're going to have to lay it all out on the line. See, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. How bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? I've got some friends that are like, well, I just want to be comfortable. Comfortable. I know what God has called me to do, be, and have. And I also know that in many ways, I'm going to have to do some things. They're going to be in some ways a discomfort. But that is where we need them to be stepping into the strength of God, the strength of the Lord. Okay, I'm pleased to be talking about this because I tell you something. Noting and seeing how bad you want it, that says something. I had used that, I know, as a beginning, as a capstone beginning of a podcast I began, a series I began on this show last January. And it's funny, I'm going back to that same concept. No matter how you look at it, is how bad, how bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? And yeah, I'm a podcaster. 
But a part of me also wants to go on stage to be a speaker on stage so bad. And I believe that the Lord will someday stretch me, help me stretch enough to where that can be a possibility. But until then, I am content to sit here. You, you can't see me anyway. Shoot, I can't see that much anyway. And close my eyes, and you know, I picture myself speaking to you guys. You guys are in the Coliseum, full of people listening to me. And I'm just asking you this very question. How bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? You know, is, is it a part of you? Is it, a, is it a dream that God laid deep and down inside into your heart where you just can't get rid of it? And maybe some people around you, they're giving up. But you know me deep down that you can't. You can't. But sometimes you get so discouraged, you're just kind of like, well, where do I do now? Where do I go next? I'm going to say this once again. Go to the Lord. He understands you. He hears you. He knows maybe over your dream you've been crying. He knows over the he knows over the years that you've been trying. He sees it deep down into your soul. When you sit there and you ask the question, "Why? Why am I not having too many people behind me to pull me towards my dream?" But you know what? And this is something I had to learn all over again. The cardinal rule number one of Patent Realm is. Love and believe in yourself. Okay, and I'm not saying this in like some glorification of self-love. I'm saying this in one way. You're to love and believe in yourself. Knowing that God loves and believes in you. He loves you. John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So come with me, folks. Come ride with me the rest of the journey of this pattern enterprise train. I realize in some ways it's going to be rocky. It's going to be rocky, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. The road to success is not always paved. You're going to get some detours. You're going to get some twists and turns. But how about we put the Lord in, in, well, you know, it's funny. Today we're starting a series called In the Driver's Seat. And, well, guy, in some ways you are in the driver's seat, but there's one thing. You need a second, you need a first in command to guide you through this, this uneven road of success. And that first in command is, is, to me, it's the Lord, okay? It's the Lord. Now, a lot of these success gurus, you know, they talk about, you know, the conscience and, and being present. And I'm not, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. You should be present in certain uh, situations instead of being reactive. I agree with that. But the presence that you need in order to find the success and happiness you seek 
is the presence of the Lord. The strength that you need in order to get these things is in the Lord. Kenny, this is supposed to be a business episode. Why all of a sudden are you getting preachy? I'm getting preachy because, to be honest with you, if it wasn't the Lord Jesus Christ showing me that I still do have a purpose and that I don't need to give up on my dreams, then I don't know where I'd be. He's the one that spoke to me and gave me, and gave me revelation. Now, I know some people are like, what do you mean the Lord can't speak that same way anymore? I believe he does. As, as a Latter-day Saint, I strongly believe he does. How, how many of us as Christians are willing to be in tune to the, the still, small voice? Because I'll tell you something. If you're in tune to the still, small voice, and you're trying to achieve your goals, that still, small voice will help you get what you need. <laughs> Now with that, I hope you enjoy listening. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of Pattern Realm. This is Jimmy Hendrix saying until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. And do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others want so you can have others what others can. Please share this with mama son, papa son, and everyone. Until next time, choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. And remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jenny loves you. I really love you. God bless you, and please have a blessed day.